happy to have some of y'all back. This is the second video in my mini series of photographing my kiddos at home. Um, if you didn't catch my first video, I would suggest that you go back and listen to that because you'll hear more about my heart and why I'm doing this and uh, my inspiration for it. Um, I'm a photographer, a mom to two kiddos, and a wife to an ICU nurse. And so picking up my camera has just really been therapeutic in so many ways and just so fun. And so I have an online course where I teach people how to use their camera. And this is just kind of a supplement for them and maybe inspiration for you to pick up either your iPhone or your camera. A lot of what I'm gonna be sharing um, will be beneficial to both. It just kind of allows you to get in my head and see what I'm thinking as I'm shooting. And so I photographed my um, son, Luke, he's three. I photographed, or yeah, I photographed him um, baking brownies yesterday. And so you're gonna see um, a little bit of iPhone footage of my kitchen and where the light is. And I had lights on inside because it was raining outside and so um, I didn't shoot with a flash on I, it was just grab and go I have my camera in one spot so that I can grab it whenever we're doing something cute I have my memory card ready bada bing bada boom ready so um, I took pictures of him from both angles from different sides and my iPhone video will kind of show you what the lighting looks like and then as I um, after those iPhone videos that you're about to see <laughs> um, then I'll walk you through Lightroom and how I edit them and how some of them I make black and white because the lighting is bad and how some of them I fix the lighting um, to where I'm okay with it. So anyway, join along uh, me in this journey. If you want to take pictures of your kiddos at home too, um, feel free to Insta um, Instagram them, post them, and hashtag them with LDP quarantine chronicles that's a mouthful um, and I'll be scrolling through uh, make sure that your Instagram isn't private so that I can see them um, and tag me in them also so I can see them and then I'll be randomly choosing people um, to give Starbucks gift cards to along the way just for fun so join in on the fun we have all this time or sometimes not much at all um, but being at home with my kiddos it's been so fun to take pictures of so thanks for joining Okay, so here is the setup of our kitchen. You can see the window behind us, and then I have on lights in here because it's rainy today. And so the light that's gonna hit him on this side of his face is really just coming from these windows, and it's pretty far away, and so, and it's cloudy outside, rainy. So it's not really that much. You can see that his face is dark. Um, and so I'm gonna be taking pictures probably from either side, and there's gonna be some yellow warmth to it because these lights are on, but it's really dark without and you can just go ahead and see how I adjust on the fly. Wait, Luke, you can't be eating that. <laughs> Hands out, <laughs> you can't eat that. Hey. So you can see from the lights in the kitchen, Lukey, no mouth, not yet, babe. And um, the lights up here and a little bit from there, still cloudy outside, you can see that his face looks a little brighter from this side. Again, it's um, lighted by the lights in here but I'm just gonna adjust for that as I'm editing and maybe make some black and white because making brownies. Wait, what are we doing? Making brownies. Are you excited? Yeah. Wait, what's on your mouth? I can... Audio changes when it goes from my iPhone to this and all back and forth. Sorry about that. Um, so these are the photos that I took. Um, and so as you saw on my iPhone, this is what the light looks like shooting from this way, even when the, the windows are behind me, kind of shining, like with the light coming onto him right here. But like I said, the lights are on in the kitchen, as you can see, so that's going to add some warmth, um, like undesirable warmth. And then the window you can see above the sink, and then all the windows behind me, but it's really cloudy and rainy outside. So that's why you kind of get this like darker look. But honestly, I kind of like this picture like as is, and I can foresee myself really liking it as a black and white probably yeah I love that I love it so much so down here is my black and white um preset that I use so again I'm not going to go over all the ways that I tweak it over here on the right but you can pause the video and kind of take note um on what that looks like over here um but honestly that is perfect as is and then also side note so I'm not using a flash on my camera of course I do during professional events I don't throw a flash on at home um, I just don't really mind. Um, I shot with my 35 again. Clearly it grabs the whole picture. Um, you know, I could cringe about my crock pot being out and my vacuum being back here and things being imperfect, but honestly, this is just life. And so I love it. Um, I think there's a time and a place for, um, kind of, uh, curating and making things look a little better, but eh, this just wasn't really it. So I'm using my 35. My aperture again is at 2.5, 1 over 160 shutter speed, and I never usually go below that. 
um, and then my ISO is 1600. Another thing to note is, depending on your camera, if you have a crop sensor camera, there's a freebie on my website explaining the crop sensor, and I think there's even a video on my YouTube. Um, if you have a crop sensor, your photo might be really grainy if you shoot at a higher ISO. My camera can handle it pretty well. Um, so, okay, now that those are aside, um, this is crooked, but um, these are just Luke and so candid. And I love some of the expressions I got, but they, um, yeah, like just lighting is terrible. So I'm going to apply my light preset on it um, or my color preset, I guess, not my black and white preset. And then I'm going to, ooh, what did I just do? Um, I'm going to add some exposure and take out some of that crazy yellow from the lights and from all the wood that it picks up. Um and take down this honestly because the light's going to be pretty janky or the white balance that that warm tone that you're that you see all around that I'm a, adjusting for um that is called white balance and so I'm probably going to just like a lot of these in black and white better than color now if I did black and white I would need to kind of brighten up him right there so I'm going to just call that good and I'm going to sync them here and keep rolling Oh, that is so gross. I'm sorry, guys. I had to include it because it just cracked me up. I'm going to make this a black and white and then pop it with some color. I mean, y'all, if you know my son, oh my gosh, like chocolate and sugar, like that is all he would care to live on. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's why I think these pictures mean so much to me um, is because Luke is just like in his element being able to um, lick the brownie batter that I let him lick. So it happened. Um, I think I'm probably going to make this black and white too. Oh my gosh, guys, this is my favorite. And see like the color like isn't perfect. His skin tone isn't perfect, but y'all, I mean, you would not get rid of this if this were you. And that's why my point in this is to just grab your camera and go. God, he's even in, in his underwear. Like I, this is home. This is home. Messy countertop. I love it. And you know, I could have moved this casserole dish. I could have moved this cup and my trash cans, oh, I shouldn't have put it out. It's really, I actually do hate that and I wanted to avoid it, but I didn't. Um, but I just love how candid it is. And so this is from the other side with the windows behind. Now do know that the light was not bright coming through the window. So it did not make it hard to focus on him. I did put my focuser on his ear just because of the, the light contrasting with the dark. It like latched on well to his ear. It was hard right here. So I just, it was really easy to focus right here. I'm going to hover over the black and white and see how I like that. I actually like color better, I think. Um, I'm going to sync some more. Okay, I'm going to try to speed up because I want to keep your, save your time. You can kind of tell how this is a little bit grainy too. Um, ooh, I don't like that. I think I did it there. Um, okay, I'm going to keep rolling. Um, and then, okay, so this is one that I did curate. A little bit there were things over here on the countertop and I thought ah, I'll just move it I mean why not um, to make it a little bit um, more <laughs> presentable because it looked so bad um, okay I'm gonna adjust some of the settings just a little bit take down exposure some um, some of the white balance I'm gonna sync these because I can tell that they're all in the same spot um, I wanted a wide shot because I wanted this little corner of our kitchen to be remembered um, and in fact, I think I even need to there. I think that's straight. So I'm going to crop in here a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just so cute. This little toddler tower goes all over our kitchen and I love it. Um, our amazing neighbors, the oars just let us borrow it. They've let us borrow it for so long and it is just beautiful. It's golden. Um, and so Luke was waiting for the brownies to mix and it was so cute. So I'm going to just sink these and see how that does. Um, Oh yeah, these were really cute to me. So I'm going to add some um, exposure and maybe a little bit of warmth, but I'm going to come down here just to very, very subtly do it. Um, and then I'm going to sync these. I bet these could even be really cute, black and white. Oh, oh yeah, I love these. These are so cute. Um, again, I like to have straight lines. So I'm going to try to line it up with this vertical line right here. Oh, thanks, babe. Everyone read the text above. Just kidding. Don't do that, but feels good. Okay. Um let's see oh and this one oh my gosh this, okay also do note this is out of focus this is not like 100 percent like it's out of focus but y'all his expression i mean i was just clicking away um and got it and that's luke and i just love it 
Um, and so then, of course, he's looking this. Okay, it's so blue in the background. So because it's so blue and that's not what my kitchen looks like, I'm going to increase the yellow just a little bit. Or I'm just going to slap a black and white on it and see what I think. I'm just going to roll with that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I give you the free pass, y'all. Um, I'm probably just going to do it to all of these. Make it simple. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, now, so I'm a cool mom. I let him have a little bit of this. I don't have let him have a lot. And I, so, uh, yeah, don't judge. Um, and then he looked at them in the oven and was so excited. So I just thought this would kind of tell a story whenever I print them and post them. And also just for us to kind of remember, like, oh, yeah, that's like what our ovens looked like. I don't know. I'm so sentimental about selling our house. So, um, but these look really yellow orange to me. So I'm going to take out just a little bit and look at his face. So watch his face as I, as I do that. Um, maybe take out some pinks, add some green back in. Um, and then I'm going to sink that and call it good. Um, when I'm talking about white balance, I'm typically like looking at his face and like the color of the paint behind to try as best as I can to match it. Um, anyway, so I know this was already long-winded, and I said I would be short, and I'm really trying. Um, but anyway, I hope you'll enjoy, and can't wait to see some of your pictures. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining in.